It's 2215. Many events happened that year. Norman Johan of the SWAF team died. And the Bond Legion are celebrating the end of this six year chaos. Gustav Tarmov who was there. Decided to retreat to the Caribbean to rest for six months. And then come back to Estonia. However. There was new trouble. The Kalahians who had been gone for a decade. Came back. Gustav Tarmov led Validians to stop the Kalahians. While a success. This came at a cost. Gustav was infected by a gas that essentially turned everyone into a zombie. Gustav is alive right now. But the Validians want to kill him so he doesn't cause chaos. After Gustav was declared incapable to rule by the Validian Council. It was time to choose a successor. Normally the custom of picking a new leader would go like this. Issue a declaration of candidacy to everyone for 48 hours. Have an election. And whoever wins. Will. Attend the funeral. And become the leader at that same church where the funeral. Occurred. Yeah Gustav's funeral had an empty coffin. However the Validian Council which had six members rejected the election system. And demanded the second in command decide the replacement. Only problem. He wasn't a Validian. He was a Kalahian. So on the 18th of April 2215 at 6 a.m. The Validians were taken over by Angus. Who was the Kalahian leader for 14 years up to that point. Angus vowed to repeat a Hughes styled leadership. And cut ties with the Bond Legion at 7.17 a.m. However. Not everyone was happy with this new dictatorship. This is where we meet our character. Robert Ernest was born in 2170 in Riga, Latvia. He met Gustav during his time in college. He joined the Validians at 27 years old. Since he was skilled at war tactics, Gustav made him a war minister during both the Cosmos War and the War of Integrity. He and Gustav were good friends. And Gustav made him do an oath that would make Robert his successor. However when Gustav was declared incapable of ruling, Robert packed his bags and traveled to Tallinn to receive his award. However he was denied access. Because he arrived one hour after Engers took over. Understandingly. He was angry. He retreated to southwestern Estonia. And met up with a few mates. At 8 am he bought a boat. And since Gustav made him a lieutenant general by his decree. Robert hired his general boss. General Raphael Stankovicius. And the two made a plan. They would bomb the Validian Palace. They issued a telegram to Engers at 8.10 a.m. Telling him to resign within two hours or the remaining Validians would bomb the palace. Engers refused to give up power. And tried sending a response. However a Svaya soldier intercepted the telegram. Showed it to the Validians. And that's how the Validian Civil War began. At 9.20 am Tallinn was taken over by excessive force. And all major highways into the city were shut down. They imposed a traffic restriction. Basically banning people from leaving or entering the city. Libs Bond decided a cold war. But Robert was against this idea. So he declared to continue the war. At 10.10 a.m. The Validians arrived they bombed the palace and Engers fled the palace. And the soldiers of Robert landed. They chased Engers down to the warehouse factory in the city. At this time a second Validian force landed a string of soldiers in the airport. In the resulting fight of the struggle of power. Engers died. 
Robert shot and killed him on the steps of the warehouse as he tried to escape. Robert was then taken to the Validian Palace and swore to be the Validian leader commencing at 11.03 a.m. The Calahians then surrendered. Robert ran for the Validian elections as he decided not to rule without the old rules, and 100% of the Validians voted him in, including his own rival for the election. Robert commenced forth his inauguration as Validian leader on the 27th of June 2215, in which time the Validians massively improved relations with Estonia and the Bond Legion. Robert does have health problems though. A week after he became leader he passed out in his bathroom, and a week after that he had a heart attack which weakened his arm. So in this photo of him improving relations with Estonia, you can see him with a cane. But no matter what happens, the Validians have zero problems on them. For now.